Okay, let's go get a run started. And this is my first run of the day, but I've done around an hour of practice already, just right before. So basically every single time I fail in some, every single time I have a good run, I fail in some completely new place. Some place that I thought was easy that you couldn't screw up and I fail it. And then I go practice it and then it's like playing whack-a-mole. So, yeah, it's always interesting to see where the run's gonna die, but... And, of course, a part of it is just getting unlucky. So we'll try to do well. Make sure my recording's all working, because I don't want to get a god run just to realize that I didn't record it properly, or the recording ran out of space halfway through, or something like that. Yeah, everything seems to be good. So the PB that I'm comparing against right now has a really good start, and it's a very, very good run, except for Lower Factory and the apartment level right after that. So my goal is to keep up with my run. I don't need to save time on it, I just need to keep up. Just gonna make that very clear. So even if I'm like five seconds behind, that's fine. Because I have like 50 seconds to save in just two maps. Looking forward to those. Actually, the I guess the beginning wasn't super good. So maybe half the time I'm gonna save time off of it, the other half I'm gonna lose time to it, I'm not sure. But it's gonna be something like that. This is way too much height. You can start right. losing some. There's some invisible walls you have to get around, but aside from that, don't need too much height. Because there's some boosts that I'm gonna go for. Hopefully I get them. I think I got stuck there. All right, mediocre boost. Could have been a lot worse though. That was really bad. That was probably not worth even going for, because if you miss these boosts, you're losing time. Yeah, like right there, I just lost a bit of time. <sighs> so it's kind of comfort comforting running against really good splits, because I can kind of... I don't have to have the pressure of being ahead and staying ahead. I can just keep up. So it actually kind of eases things a little bit. Eases the stress and the pressure. It's all right. I can manage. So I don't particularly mind having really good splits to compare against. But I'm not going to compare against, like, say, my sum of best, because that's just torture. That's just losing time on every single map. This pillow's a little bit too far left. That's a little scary. All right, that worked out. I think I have time to save on this level. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I think that was really good. Slow. 
slow because it got stuck. I'm gonna raise my mouse DPI here. Oh yeah, I have a lot of time to save. That's pretty nice. And then Dark World's clip, I think it was also just kind of an average clip. So I can keep a time save. That's really nice having a buffer to this run. Oh my gosh, that was really good. No fall damage either. So I don't have debug mode enabled. <laughs> Pressing F3, nothing's happening. And we just run straight for a minute. <sighs> Does my screen need any cleaning? This is a good chance for you guys to clean your screens from dust as well. Or, of course, you could just skip past all of this. Would not blame you. So this level is really easy to compress in terms of the video because I'm recording lossless and lossless recording can get up to like a thousand megabits a second. But right now this is only 10 megabits a second because the top half of the screen is just static and the bottom half is pitch black. So that leads to really low bit rates for lossless recording. Okay, just gonna spam jump a little bit to get up this hill. I've got a little stuck, that's fine. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna be quite a bit ahead, actually. Yeah, this is gonna be some crazy time saves. Nice. This is a super good start. Compared to my previous splits, this would be even better. So I'm glad I'm not comparing against that. I don't want to feel like I have a god run for every single run. What the heck happened to that chair, dude? It like clipped through with me. All right, this was a really good room. Now, of course, I just hope that the game doesn't freeze when loading the next map. And I don't think it really matters what you do from here. Like, you could, like, throw these items, it's not gonna cause the game to crash. None of this is gonna really matter. Just make sure you look at the giant baby. Let's walk in the baby. Let's get a nice direct view. Yeah, I don't know if I'm losing time because I my vision was kind of blocked. I don't know how this map works at all. Looks like we're not losing time though. Like a significant amount of time. And if this text disappears, then the load's gonna finish. Wait for it. And there we go. Yeah. We get a we get to continue the run. Here I can give my pinky a bit of a rest. And I need to start holding it again around here. So we have some pinky resting strats now. Huh, a bit of lag.
is a little bit of an awkward setup. And then you want to get onto the end of the bridge to hit the sprint trigger. Otherwise, you're not going to get the increased move speed here. Yeah, this setup's fine. And then for this part, just aim at the door. And do a bit of jump so that you get, you get enough height. I don't know if I'm getting enough height, actually. I am. Good. Don't do anything fancy here. Just... There we go. My best possible time is really good right now. I only lost like 13, 14 seconds off my summer best. So this is a really good start. Probably my best start ever. Absolutely no pressure. Gotta walk around the rocks here. Oh, my game just like froze there for a second. I don't know what's going on. I'm not like running some video encode in the background, am I? <laughs> that would be horrible. Just having that in the background of a run haunting me the whole time. All right, we are gaining a ton of height using this. I can scroll this out now. And now I just get some gentle jumps and make it over the invisible walls over here. Yeah, I'm totally in the clear. Now we just drop. This might be a gold. No, never mind. <laughs> Actually, lost some time. Maybe partially because the game just kind of froze for a sec. My game just froze again. What is going on? Gonna try to be careful with these clips, because these can just clip you into the walls and into the hallway and all sorts of weird stuff. Oh. Okay, <laughs> apparently I'm still ahead. Yeah, I'll keep going. That was really bad. I don't know why I fell through the the ledge that first time. That seemed pretty good, because I, I think I did the fall damage skip, and I also was holding forward. So I don't know what went wrong there. I'll need to look into that more. Glad to know this is not the god run anymore. And I think I messed that up, actually. I should have waited for the flashback. One. Yeah, okay, I think I just lost even more time. <laughs> yeah, I certainly lost more time. Unless I got the flashback to happen, like, literally on the last frame in that level. Alright, I have my matches, right? I'm gonna have to light a match. Did I light that? No. Alright, 
that was kind of sloppy. Yeah, my game is definitely periodically freezing. It was a dream. Just a dream. Slow time loss. Crikey, look at the size of this time loss. Alright. Messed that up as well. Yeah, this is just... And I forgot that. Nice. I'm just forgetting everything right now. Holy crap. But, like I said, <sighs> that was a big time loss. The name of the game right now is to just keep up. I know I still have time to save. And this could still be a fairly decent PB, even if it's not the god run. Even if I make a ton of mistakes, I just have to make less mistakes than I did in, in my PB. And these small mistakes are nothing compared to the major time losses. Yeah, my game is, uh, I don't know why it's just stuttering. I have no clue why that's happening. This is, this just started happening today. So I don't know if there's some program running in the background that I'm not aware of, or... Yeah, that's weird. Maybe I can get a gold in Cistern. Okay, I probably should not YOLO this. Two seconds... Yep, just a very standard cistern. Might save a second, if I'm lucky. Nice. I saved almost exactly a second. Well done, precious one. Okay, I think I have time to save in Oasis, I think. I remember the rock climbing, the mountain climbing being kind of slow. So I guess we'll see how this goes. I forgot to practice this, actually. I was going to practice the mountain climbing. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. So this first one, I think you just... Yeah, I'm already failing. Do you see this? Are you guys seeing this right now? Okay, so I was jumping while I was next to it. Once I stopped that, I think it improved. Okay, that might have made up for some of my time loss. That might have also made up for some of my time loss. Those were some pretty decent boosts. All right. Apparently I'm struggling with these as well. Just like this. At least I didn't get boosted off. <laughs> that could have been worse. Should I go for a boost here? Yes, I did. My game just froze again. I really have no idea what's going on. Is Windows updating in the background? Like, I swear, this this is the first time this has happened, where my game is just doing that. And if it happens in the middle of uh, some intense section, then that could kill the run. Like, for example, there's a boost that I'm doing here coming up. And if it freezes in the middle of this boost, then I'm screwed. 
right, let's see how this goes. Pretty decent. Actually, I can do Control shift escape and oh, that froze my game for a second. Uh, well, that was a bit of a time loss, but I just opened up my task manager. And... Yeah, my CPU's doing fine. Everything seems to be doing fine, so... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna have to run with it. And now there's a task manager window open, which is super distracting. That uh, was probably not the smartest idea for me to do that during the run. I might have to like alt tab and close that, we'll see. Alright, looks like I'm losing time here. This is a pretty fun level to do. My game just froze again. I always miss grabbing the orb the first time. Oh, the chair got in my way. Chuck that over there. That was a good grab. That was a really good grab. I basically never get that first try. Need to set this up carefully because I'm trying to go for a first try clip. And that's super consistent if you set it up properly. Cool, that was a gold. Dude, seriously, what is going on? Is my GPU driver updating in the background? Look up at the baby. I'm gonna alt tab right now and then close my task manager, so I might have just lost even more time there, but that's okay. This wasn't a good run anyway. Actually, I just realized I could have, couldn't I have just alt tabbed, alt tab during a loading screen, and then I don't think that would lose me any time because the timer is paused. Then, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Anyway, not too worried about that.
Watch it freeze during this prop fly. And then it's just gonna drop. Not sure what would happen if that happened. Alright. So that was weird. We're gonna do a side clip here. And then hopefully this comes out using size method of clipping. That was actually fairly quick. And then I'm gonna scroll that out twice and hopefully I gain enough height. Because you really don't need that much height here. Oh yeah, that's way... Okay, scrolled it in once more just to be safe there. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll it all the way out now and I'm gonna just keep doing jumps because I want to maintain my height. Don't want to lose too much height because you can go under the end platform and that's just rip run when that happens. You might have to like curve around or something. Or Okay, I can just start losing height from now. Oh, I have to slow down a little bit too. I think I still saved some time because the clip for the plate out was pretty quick. So this is still not a horrible run. I'm keeping up decently well. And I might even go for some, uh, some fun strats with Portal Chamber 2 by using some props to rotate the wheels. So that may or may not kill the run if, I, if it goes poorly. I don't know, it's something fun to try. And this isn't a great run anyway, and it's... Um, <laughs> the recording's kind of scuffed because there's just these, like, stutters everywhere. So maybe I'll just do that for fun. Can we get it working? It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. How quickly can we get it working? That's what I care about. Okay, so the pillar room is a really fun area. And the entire map is just really action-packed. You have to use a sandbag to do quite a few precise tricks. So we'll see how this goes. We're gonna go boom, boom. I think that's good. Scroll that out once. This is looking a little sketch. But that we got enough height, nice. I guess that worked in indeed. Nice. So my PB had a gold here, so of course I'm gonna lose a bit of time. So I either get that dark red or I get the gold. Yeah, so this is still a fairly decent run, and I'm hopefully going to be able to finish it and still get an amazing PB. Because I can save a ton of time off my, uh, off my PB. So here I'm going to go around here. I guess we're not going to use the wheelbarrow strats. I need to focus here. Oh my gosh. Just barely got into place. I wonder how much those stutters are actually costing me in terms of time over the entire run. It just happened again. All those got reset. You can just spam click that into the, the receptacle. I used to think you had to wait until the white interact thing shows up, but no, you can just spam it. Okay, I think that's in place. Oh my gosh, these stairs. That looks good. That is done. <laughs> Game, seriously. No. 
Yeah, some of that time loss is probably because the game was just freezing. Which means I get some free time saves sprinkled across my entire PB if this does end up being the world record right now and then I have to submit it. Which I don't mind that. As long as I'm able to fix that issue, I don't I still have no clue why that's happening. Like I'm I changed up the way that I'm doing the config. Like I'm using two shortcuts, one for debug, one for normal. That's the only change that I've made, and it doesn't make any sense for that to make the game freeze. So I don't know what's going on. And I got super lucky there because this is actually a really good setup. I'm just have to I just have to look most of the way down. Or even all the way down. And then this should allow me to clip through. So we'll we'll see. Yep, there we go. Nice. So you just have to hope for a lucky grab, and if not, then you can just adjust it on your way there, because you have plenty of time walking. Okay, that was a little bad. Some bunny hopping to try to avoid getting stuck on those did not work very well. <sighs> Bleeding time. I think in my PB right now, my best possible time was... Well, you can tell right now. It was under 43 when I was entering theater, and it only went above when I is when I exited. So that was a really good run up until this point. Might have some time to save here, though. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I got stuck in the very beginning of theater in my PB. So assuming all the other clips go perfectly, I should be able to save like a second. But other than that, this is... I just have to keep up. went well. That's clip one out of two. Oh yeah, we have to escape the monster as well. Don't forget about that. I'm still going to use my strat here where I need to actually skirt around the monster instead of just getting caught. We're not going to admit defeat. Put the monster in its place. There we go. I'm just going to rotate this so that it's easy to grab for the clip. And try to grab it in a decent spot. This looks fairly decent. And sure enough, it worked. All right. Factory, let's go. Let's see if, it will take us home. Let's see if this, this cage is going to take us home. So I have done quite a bit of practice in this map, and I think I know how to do it consistently. Nice, so I did save a second, because my clips were first try. I think I know how to do it consistently, but you will not believe how many runs I've lost to Factory, because I my original setup was good. I was going to press S and jump at the same time, but then I switched it to a setup where I I did this. I jumped and then I pressed S and then crouch, and that did not seem to work as consistently. And it's also harder to hit the keys because I'm using my, my thumb, my ring finger, and my index finger. And it's a lot easier to do it like this than it is to do this. So I'm going to go with this setup and hope it works. And if it doesn't... Uh, I can get a. I know I can get a better run up to this point, so I'm not going to be too sad. But of course, I want to get a PB. I'm gonna stop rambling now. See how this goes. This is always so nerve-wracking, waiting for the elevator to just get into position and start moving up, because this is just. It's just given me a lot of time to worry about this. But yeah, here goes. I'm not going to be too sad if this misses. So my game actually froze right before that, which was just freaking stupid. 
I'm glad it wasn't like a frame before I needed to jump. Although, if it was like a frame before I needed to jump, maybe I could just do the jump during the freeze, and then it would just buffer the inputs until after, so. Yeah. Dude, I swear to god, if this- if the freezing actually kills this run, that's gonna be really funny. So, one problem that I've seen, I think I've seen Sai fail that jump a couple times, because he was jumping too early and he was bumping his head into the ceiling. So that strat's really not too bad, as long as you know how to do it pro properly. We're gonna set this up, and scroll it out, and then in twice. And I'm gonna try not to jump on this, because my theory is that jumping on this makes it a lot more likely to despawn. And... I haven't had a despawn while just walking, so I'm gonna keep on doing this, and maybe one day it's still gonna despawn anyway, and then that's gonna just completely debunk that theory. But for now, I'm just gonna do it like this. And you wanna get over this wall early, because right now, if the prop despawns, I don't care, because I'm already on the other side. I don't need the prop anymore, really. And I think, I don't know if there's a backup if I fall down here, I might just have to go through the level normally. I'm gonna try to spawn in those textures, or load them in. And we have a rock over there, and a rock over there. Open the door, go through, and save a bit of time. And speaking of time saves, I have a ton of time to save in this next map. I have a new way of doing this, which hopefully will work, and... My current PB completely failed this map. And I think I also posted a video of that. Actually, no, it was an unlisted video, never mind. Basically, what happened was actually, I need to concentrate right now. Grab this, scroll it out once, jump once, twice, three times, that's fine, and then just do a bunch of jumps. And that should get me over this, and then just keep jumping. So what happened was, at the end, I was trying to jump into the hole with the rift, and I actually missed the hole. And I had to use a backup rock to get back up. So, yeah, huge time loss there. That was like 35 seconds lost. So I can save 35 seconds in this map. Just by doing this properly. Nice. That was a nice gold. My sum of best improved by like another second. And this level, I hope this goes well. Oh, whoops. Missed the door. Yeah, that door has like a block box that it just despawns. See how this goes here. Come on, horsey. Please don't freeze up. Oh my gosh, the game froze. And it made me drop the horse. I think we're good now though. Scroll that all the way in, maybe once outward. And I'm gonna abandon the shuffling strat and I'm just gonna try to walk forward on this. See how that goes. Nice, it worked. So this might also be a gold, potentially. We'll see. 42 seconds, not a gold. So this is still on pace for a really good run. And it's unfortunate that I lost so much time near the beginning, but eh. Because I really prefer to compare against a run that has a really, really good beginning. Because that way, again, it's like follow the leader. If I feel like I'm behind and I'm able to follow my previous run, I'm less stressed than if I was in front and I had to stay ahead. Kind of like I'm being chased. I'd rather chase my previous PB than to to be chased by it. I don't think I can do this. Okay, so this is a really easy map. I'm just gonna maybe I just jinx myself. We'll we'll see. But really, there's nothing too much to be worried about here. You just put that against the post, get on top of it, wiggle back and forth, scroll it all the way in, scroll it out. Need a little more height here. 
I'm not too confident about getting over that trigger. But I think I did it. There we go. I got over the trigger. So now if I want to gain height, just scroll in and out. And that starts it wiggling again. In and out. In and out. That was two wins and one out. Makes it wiggle a little more violently. And it's also a little sketchier because the chance of this dropping is just a little higher. So really there's like one trick left in the game. And this should be a pretty balanced game. Please don't do that. This PB is just so scuffed by the game freezing. I really hope there's a fix for that. I, that's the theme of this video, is just my freaking video freezing. And I'm also not gaining enough height. Oh my gosh. Please, give, give me a little more height. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess we're doing this. So this is really scary because I need to get it back on this prop. And I don't, I've never actually done this before. Oh, there we go. That's easy. Was able to kind of do it before the, the big valley over here. So this should be a pretty direct path. And I'm not going to pull anything too fancy. Because um, in the past I would try to like prop fly directly to Yasmin. But the problem is Yasmin can get stuck. And her pathing just doesn't work very well. So I'm not going to get too fancy here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the trigger, which I just did. And then I'm just going to drop down here. And that should save a little bit of time over the normal route. So maybe I'll get a gold. Yeah, this might be a gold. I'm here, Tessie. Talk to got you. So I don't know, uh, maybe I should memorize how long it takes for the split to finish once I get caught. Because I have no idea how ahead I am. Uh, this might be a gold. So maybe I'll be like 45, 46. No, never mind. I lost time. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm just going to have to eat my words here. So I can still get a really good PB. It's still possible for me to get like a low 43. Like lower than 4330. Assuming I don't screw anything else up. Let's try to focus here. So I need to go eat dinner after this run. Regardless of how this run ends. I'm not gonna care too much. I'm just really hoping for a PB because I've had quite a few days of attempts where I just lose the run to stupid stuff. Yeah, as I said in the beginning of the run already, it's just whack the mole. I think I have a level practice, and then I go a few couple weeks. Ugh, the game's only been out for like a few weeks. I, I go a while uh, just doing attempts without practicing that map again, and then I lose a run to it, and I'm like, oh wait, maybe I should go back and practice that map again. And then... Doctor's taking a while. I think this is the last time I have to look at them. That's it. Good girl. That's it. Once more. Can't wait to get out of this place. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> well done, uh, I don't really have too much to say about the rest of the run. Um, so right now, I'm going to give this run a 70-80% to 80 chance of completion. 
In the past, I would have said like 95%, but then um, the thing is, Tower is just a super weird map. Oh, let's get going here. Yeah, Tower is a super weird map because depending on whether you load it into debug mode or through the normal game or through some weird, something weird happens. But basically, um, sometimes when you load into the level, things behave differently. So there is a prop that we have to clip out. Sometimes it's just nearly impossible. And then sometimes it's a piece of cake. And then also with the clip out myself, I feel like sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's harder. So we, I have like a decent setup for it now, um, thanks to Juna, who found a setup that basically looks up at the top of the roof. And then I'm gonna be trying to use that, but it's not as consistent as he showed. Because in his video that he showed, he actually, um, ah, my game just froze, losing time. Thank you for that. Thank you for those free time saves for my next PB. But what was, I, what was I saying? I still have my lantern, right? Yep. If only I still had the lantern. Yeah, I guess I'll talk more about the clip once I get to it. Did I just get teleported? So I'm not quite sure about how to do this level, but I think I've seen... I never really learned how to do this level properly. And I think I would just usually walk forward here, but then I watch size tutorials, which if you guys don't know, um, Psychotics, he has a playlist of tutorials on this game on YouTube now. So if you want to learn this game, it's good to learn it from just watching a run like this. But if you want more explanation for any parts, just go check out a tutorial. And there's going to be plenty of tips in there that, um, like I, I even learned some things just watching the tutorial, even though I was already running the game. Am I even sprinting? This is super slow. Yeah, so th this level, I think there's like some slight optimizations by, um, like for one of the segments, I have to look slightly left, and I think that runs into the trigger a little sooner. And then for this part, I have my own setup for this. So what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> we're gonna be climbing that tower soon. I'm gonna wait for the flashback to start. I'm gonna press G to open my lantern to override the flashback. So right there, I saw the flash and then I press G to open up the lantern. You don't have to spam anything. You don't have to use like a like a distance cue, like a position cue. You just have to wait for the flashback to start. I don't know if I'm gonna save time here or not. Okay, apparently I'm just bleeding time. Yeah, I guess due to my game freezing. Well, anyway, it's gonna be really funny if the game freezes on my way up from the prop fly. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna call it right now. Swear to God, if the game pulls that crap. <laughs> just game, just get your freezes out right now. Just get it all out, please. Watch this mediocre run get an insta clip. Okay, we're gonna try Juna's setup. So it's just gonna be spamming jump, looking up there. And it's already not working. Alright, see how this goes. So that got clipped out. Stand here. We're just gonna go out a little bit here, and then I'm gonna curve back around. This looks relatively stable right now. I'm gonna curve back around here, wait until I see that. Curve slowly to the right again, and then just go up. And then that should get me to the end pretty safely. I'm gonna jump around that, and it looks like we have a PB. So it looks like it's gonna be a 43.20. My, the run that I got yesterday would have been like a 43.10 had I not lost 50 seconds. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned this in this video yet, but the, the PB that I'm comparing against right now, okay, I did slightly mention it. I lost 35 seconds in Lower Factory and then 15 or more seconds in Apartment. So that, that was a 50 second time loss and that was, the start was much better than this. 
So that would have been... Game, can you please stop freezing? We're like almost done. Just, just bear with me here. Oh yeah, we can open the lantern to get the lantern glitch here. I'm gonna show you guys that. I've only done this like a, once before. So I'm just gonna press G. And I think I did... I think I did... I pressed the lantern key three times. So I don't know if that was it. But, um... Yeah, anyway. Okay, yeah, there we go. Got the lantern. So we don't have a baby, but we have a lantern. And everything's all glitchy. So yeah, yesterday's run was actually at a better pace than today's run, but um, yeah, the beginning, I kept up fairly decently. I guess I was kind of under the illusion it wasn't a very good run just because I was behind. But again, that's, that's why I think it really helps to have a good run to compare against at the beginning. And this is also why I believe like if if somebody gets a sub 43 in a run, okay, GG. If someone gets a sub 43, it's gonna be a lot easier for people, for other people to get subsequent sub 43s just because you kind of have a leader to follow and you're not gonna be as nervous about your run because you know someone's already done better. And in this case, same thing. You know, I thought I was behind and so it just made me a lot less nervous and I just didn't really care where the run went from there. So, yeah, hopefully I can shatter this PB again, because I probably have like 10 to 15 seconds of the game just like freezing, and I probably lost a ton of time to that over the course of the run. But, yeah, let's go fix that issue. I'm fairly happy with this PB for now. I'm gonna encode it, submit it. Should That should happen in... I should be able to get this run up on YouTube and all processed and stuff in like five hours. Hopefully a little sooner. But yeah, that's that's my PB. I think this is like the seventh PB, so like sixth or seventh PB. I haven't posted like a couple of them. Like my PB yesterday, I didn't post that. I also got like a another PB I didn't post. But I think you can see that from the splits I'm comparing against. But anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm fairly happy with this run. I can kind of take a break, and I'm still going to be doing, like, one run a day just to keep the PBs coming without too much stress. So, yeah, anyway, bye.